The dog, a friendly soul with trusting eyes, nuzzled against Alexander's leg, seeking a moment of connection. Alexander couldn't resist the canine charm he stooped down, ruffling the dog's fur, and exchanged a brief moment of affection. With a friendly pat, he continued his walk, unaware that this chance encounter would soon thrust him into an unexpected heroic act. Only a few minutes passed before the tranquility of the winter evening was shattered by the shouts and gasps of onlookers. Turning around, Alexander saw a commotion unfolding on the frozen river. His heart skipped a beat as he realized the source, a dog, venturing onto the treacherous ice, unaware that it could not bear its weight. Without hesitation, Alexander's instincts kicked in. He shed his belongings swiftly, the urgency of the situation eclipsing any sense of self-preservation. The crowd on the embankment gasped as he stepped onto the ice, the surface groaning beneath him. The cold clawed at him as he descended into the icy water, fully aware that every passing second increased the risk of hypothermia. Years of winter swimming had prepared Alexander for this moment. He moved with purpose, carefully navigating the underwater terrain. The dog, struggling on the fragile ice, looked at him with desperate eyes. Each step was a test of endurance, the numbing cold gnawing at him. The water seemed to sap the strength from his limbs, but he pressed on, determined to rescue his newfound friend. Approaching the distressed dog, Alexander reached the limit of the ice, and with a combination of strength and strategy, he began to push a sizable chunk toward the struggling canine. The ice cracked and splintered, making the task all the more challenging. The dog's attempts to claw its way out proved futile as the ice beneath its paws gave way. Yet, persistence prevailed. With careful maneuvering, Alexander brought the makeshift raft of ice closer to the stranded dog. A final, forceful tug, and the dog was within Alexander's grasp. He cradled the shivering animal, its wet fur clinging to his cold, numb hands. As if guided by an unspoken understanding, the dog nestled against him, seeking warmth. Back on solid ground, Alexander, wet and chilled to the bone, wasted no time. I'm not a big fan of winter swimming, Alexander admitted later, a modest smile playing on his lips, but this time, I didn't even think, I had to save the dog. Quote, 